Hola, amigos. Welcome back to Tropical. Welcome back to us playing on the highest difficulty, trying to get up to modern times. And another crown demand is coming in right now into a small, sorry colony that we are. Small, but still alive. That's uh, one thing. And also, what I've noticed is that El President has finally woken up. I mean, he's going in again and kind of like going for something i don't know uh, we can of course also visit now buildings with him so he is kind of normal right now and the workplace is the palace of course and he's just yeah checking the area for the moment el presidente and he's going to check the library uh if it's built the right way producing us enough research points that is of course and then we're probably going to take go back and take a nap or something like that the next pirate attack is coming in, this time from the north of the island. Uh, the guard towers will probably not be fine anymore. By the way, there's one of my llamas again. And let's relocate that guard tower over here where the attack is happening. So we probably will need to have it up there. The cool thing is, if I relocate the guard tower, the people are coming with it right away, right? So the guards, they're going to be stationed on top of it. So we can move them around all the time. In that case, it does cost me a bit of money every time, but we can afford it, I think, for now. Now, next up is my industry. We have seven more vacant jobs. So this is actually going low now. And I would like to continue now with my next industry. And that would be a bit of processing, right? We haven't done processing yet. Um, and it's pretty important. So we are producing um, we're producing quite a lot of sugar for the moment. We have two sugar plantations up and running, each of them producing yeah quite a bit of, of sugar, that is. And of course, we could make more money out of sugar by processing it into mm, rum, the good old Tropican rum. It cost me 10,000 to build this, but it's going to be worth it for sure. Let's see where we can actually squeeze it in. Probably, yeah, probably somewhere here along the along the line towards the harbor area. So my intention is to have a bit of an industry uh, zone out of that one here. And the rum distillery marks the beginning. I'm going to take a while for this to finish. And of course, we should probably also look out for some people to, to live close to that. We have the Teamster office, so behind it. Hmm? I would like to have a chapel behind it, to be honest, because we also still need those service buildings. Where's the entrance for this mess? There it is, right? So something like that is possible behind the Teamster office. And then we can go ahead with some more bunkhouses here. Let's have two of them for the moment. So this is where people can then also live to work then in the industry zone. Export-wise, there are still a few more things being exported. Do we have a sugar trade rod? No, we don't. Nor do I want one now that we are going to process sugar soon into something else. Uh, other than that, it's not looking that great for exporting. Right, so we have two more exports ready to go, but that's it. 150 people right now working. This is also rather fine for us, I'd say. And seven more vacant home. Regarding the revolutionary demand to produce some fish, we will unfortunately need to build a fisherman's wharf. Um, I definitely should be doing this, to be honest, because we want more revolutionary immigrants to get a support rating for revolution up there. There are some fishing grounds over here, as we can see, so we should have it a bit closer to that. So let's go ahead and make the fishing wharf right away. And of course, those fishermen, unfortunately, they will need to live somewhere. So let's have them a bunkhouse right next to it. A raid has been completed with rescuing. We got, I think, 10 people out of that. And with that, all the vacant jobs are filled. So no more jobs available for the moment. That would actually lead to unemployment rates, which is also bad. So let's just wait out for this um, attack to be over. And in this area, as we can see, we do have a bit of forestry area. So I would like to use this right away to get us a forestry industry up and running too. For that, yeah, once again, we will need to start with some bunkhouses. It's probably going to be up here somewhere. Actually, here we already have some shacks, so there is some... These bunkers are already filled. Let's build two more. And let's also relocate that guard tower a bit further up north. And here we have lots of forests, as we can see. So I would like to use this to get my next industry up and running. That's the logging camps. And as we can see, we got some good amount here. Yep. Let's build two of them, I think. Two should be really fine. One and two with a bit of a distance to each other. A nice road connection. And of course, the locks we can process right away in a lumber mill. So this is something I would like to do to make planks out of it. So there it is. Going to take a while for this to construct, but once finished, it's done. We can also extend the road to the other side here to make that connection. And hooray, what I can see is my rum distillery is now up and running. 
the sugar is in, the workers are in, and as you can see, we're producing now rum. Quite a lot of it too already. Uh, let's raise the budget right away. So we are going to increase efficiency to 125%. Uh, we could also get the done distill, so less sugar consumption. This might be possible for a second rum distillery then at some point. Right now, though, we can wait. The chapel is also finished. Very good. That's a bit more religious service a demand that my people definitely have we can look it up in the happiness section faith um is now going up again a bit it was at 25 and we are now at 33 with that happiness bonus again and also right here the fisherman's wharf up and running the bunkhouse next to it for those people to live in and producing me some fish for that demand that we have there now trade route wise we should be able now to export some rum let's go ahead with us a tiny one for 500 that's going to be just for the quest because i think we have more than that already in no we don't have any rum in at all right now tobacco iron uh coffee coffee is always something we can do meanwhile the next pirate attack is a bit bigger this time it's eight pirates attacking us to two squads that's going to be harder. They focusing my library at the moment. So they will definitely pass this guard tower up here. I will need to use both of my guard towers together um, if I want to properly defend it. So let's use both of them over there. Ram has been finished. And with I'm that, we can fast. extend our mandate time by 18 more months. Very good. And I'm also securing myself now the trade route with the rum export for 21% above the standard price for a full volume of 3,000. We have already now, once again, 800 rum in stock for exporting, so this is going to be quite valuable, quite the boost. Alright, those two squads are coming in. We'll just see how my two guard towers are faring. And also, my forestry industry is up and running now. Let's boost the budget of that. And also for the lumber mill to produce some proper planks. Uh-huh. The first squad actually just moves past it. Mm, I might need to move this one now over to the library. All right. There you go. The next fighting takes place. Quite, not, quite close to the palace, to be honest. That's not great. But at least Tropico... My El Presidente at least has some spectacle to watch. There's no need for panic, please. <laughs> it's all fine. And right away the next pirate attacks are coming in. Two more squads. That's attacking this time my run distillery. So as we can see... It's getting a bit busy here. Also, we have taken a lot of damage with the guard tower, so it will not be able to be relocated right away. Um, that means that we probably will need to build a third guard tower, or I'm doing something else, and that is building up my own military force. We have a fort over here, provides an infantry squad to fight military conflicts, and it does cost me quite a bit. Uh, 4,000, 6,000 in total. So this is really expensive. But hopefully it's going to be worth it. So let's just find us a suitable location for this. Probably somewhere up here, closer to the palace. So we can defend the palace there as well. It definitely should be a bit more central. So let's, yep, yeah, let's have it right over here. And this is going to be our military area. Um, it's going to take a while to build it. Have we repaired something in the meantime? No, we don't. We're still fighting those pirates. And I think they're getting closer to my rum distillery. But they were killed and not much damage was done. So let's move the guard towers right away to my rum distillery. Both of them. So that we properly defend it. Oh, that's going to be a forest fighting here in the trees. Meanwhile, yep, both of my logging camps are in full swing. And as we can see also, the first planks are coming out ready to export. And we've also finished the fish production. Let's get another 10 revolutionary immigrants in. Uh, 210 people right now. We still have uh, 11 vacant jobs. And the, the battle of the rum distillery has started. From those pesky pirates. Of course they want to get the rum. What are you doing? They're passing here somehow? Alright, they just passed my tower. 
governor. More. A restaurant. Oh, this is a pretty high demand here, by the way. Have a dungeon and the rest revolutionary tropicans. Ooh. Uh, we could, by the way, abandon this one. I think we are going to do this. Or let's just keep it up for now. What is going on here? Why is no one attacking those pirates? Now they're fighting them. Yeah, now they're fighting all right. They were actually damaging my rum distillery already. Okay, by now though, my, my fort is ready for action. Let's put the budget up there a bit. We got already some eight soldiers right away out of this. And we're going to say here defend buildings, right? That's the mode. So whenever there is a building attacked, they will just move to it and defend it. Um, we could also get the utility installation done for $1,000. If a worker has the healthcare happiness lower than 30, they will receive healthcare services with a quality of 30. Um, that's independent of any healthcare services that we have. So this is a pretty good one um, to heal those troops back up really quickly. Uh, the sawmill is uh, under attack right away, so my 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 fort should do the trick. And let's also move the guard tower up here, but I don't need to move them around that often anymore, right? So if pirates are attacking from that side, we have then the guard tower here. And if pirates attack from the northern side, we have this guard tower here. So they will now always protect us uh, from that from those sides. And my, my soldiers should do the trick, should do the rest. While we're in the area, let's also build us... Uh, I mean, we don't have really a demand for that yet. Another tavern I would like to build. But let's wait for the demand. I'm pretty sure there's one coming up. What we can, however, do... Oh, by the way, look at that. My soldiers are on the move. They are now defending my buildings. So that's two full squads that we have going for the sawmill. On the other side, what we can do now is also something we should do is... The newspaper. $1,800 it costs me, increases the liberty nearby, publishes propaganda. And this is pretty important for us, right? Because this makes it possible for us to improve the revolutionary rating. And let's just see that we build it in a proper spot. Yeah, behind the library, I should say. And as we can see, we should make sure that we get most of the bunkhouses in that we have right now. And that's exactly what is happening here as we get this whole area in with it as well. Let's finish that block. So we still have some room for a few more buildings. All right, it comes to the battle over here. But this time we have not only the guard tower, but also my soldiers ready for action. They should lose quite a lot of health very quickly. And as we can see, they are going down quickly. And we've lost two soldiers, if at all. No, we haven't even lost one. Newspaper, finally up and running. Diario de Tropico. And here we want to change the work mode now to the independent. Citizens living in the vicinity of the newspaper have a chance of 25% to shift their political views towards revolutionary factions. Let's also increase the efficiency of this one. And with that, we actually finished it and we have a new task now. If I click on that, we can progress to the world wars, right? So I'm not doing this yet, though, as we still have plenty of mandate time left. And of course, we still want to stabilize our economy before we move on to the next era, because things will get drastically more expensive. Of course, the pirate attacks are not getting weaker. It's 12 pirates now per wave that is trying to take over Tropico. So, quite the big battle we have here by the guard post once again. Fighting 12, uh, 12 pirates, that is. And we definitely will lose some soldiers there. Oh, yep, the first squad will probably go down. There's one more soldier here. Unfortunately, I cannot move him away, right? And yeah, he... Oh, no! With three hit HP points left, <laughs> he survived. Very good. And yeah, at least we lost three people still, right? So this is, of course, hurting my population there a bit if we lose that many people all the time. So we need to reinforce that a bit um, with a second guard tower. So let's just have a second one here. 
and the second one here as well. So these attacks will now face two guard towers plus my infantry squad. Um, but of course, we need to make sure that we are not overdoing it with the, the money there. Um, let's build another tavern in this region. Those people definitely deserve one. And I would like to actually also start my next industry then a bit further up here now. A bit further away from everything by the by the lake there. Why not? And that is my ranches, right? We don't have any yet. And they actually are pretty important to produce as meat and also hides. And with hides we can make leather, which is quite profitable. So let's just see that we get this out here somewhere. Let's have one ranch. And the sheep would provide some wool and some milk. And that is also something that I like. Let's get both of them out in this area. And there's the bunkhouses not too far away. And as we can see, the second guard tower will really be used right away as the bigger pirate raid is coming in. My infantry is also arriving. And this should be a bit easier now, right? We should hopefully not lose that many. And as we can see, this is totally true. I've lost only one soldier so far, and that's the end of it. Perfect. By now, my ranches are also ready for action. And what I would like to do here is now, I'm setting another mo work mode, and that is the pasture prohibition. The ranch does not decrease the fertility in its vicinity, decreases the efficiency by 15%, but it gains manure, and that is what we want here from both of them, please. Manure, let's also increase the budget for both ranches. So they produce us now some wool, milk and manure. And this one, meat, hides and manure, right? And that is what we want. Because with that manure, we can now build something else. And that is the manure spreader. And this one distributes the manure across the plantations and thus increases their efficiency significantly. Let's just see, if I place it here, we will affect all plantations. We remove two fields from this plantation here, but that is negligible in, in the grand scheme of things, right? Let's get this one cracking right here. Now with those ranches and with the lumber mill having 2,500 planks in, I think that we don't have enough uh, Teamster offices anymore. So let's build us another one out here in this area where of course lots of industry is being built right now. Probably, yeah, over there, close to the bunkhouses as well. And we might then also just expand those bunkhouses a bit more. So another block here. And let's have the rest filled with some parks as well. And there it is, the next team store office ready for action. Let's increase the budget and also lose load limits once again. Uh, we have 35 vacant jobs at the moment. Yeah, we are we are actually shrinking a bit in population. So I will need to counter that by... Let's just see where we can do this. Where do we have vacant jobs? We can hide foreign workers, right? So with the next freighter, they will come in. It does cost me a bit of extra money. But it's going to be worth it because we have more workforces, nice of course. To, to fill a trade route with the crown, I think in this case here we are fine right now. A, a smaller one might be might be nice. Some tobacco here for 500 volume. So by now there's 4,000 planks in stock. That's really way too much. So hopefully the traders are getting over there soon. By the way, we might consider a plank axe board route. Unfortunately, I only have this one here with 3% increase, so that's not worth anything. And also, the manure spreader has the manure now in it. And with that, we are now boosting those plantations more or further with the manure that we're spreading. I think it should go to 140, 150, it's 130 now. Climbing up, of course. It's also time to have a bit of a look at the edicts because we have finished now some researching. The boat service has been finished and the employee of the month. Let's go and start with the food for the people. This will cost me $500, but increases the general food quality by 10. Let's go ahead with that. The next one is the employee of the month. So the mines and industrial buildings work double shifts and this costs me $350 per month. However, that's pretty, pretty nice to have, right? As we are now boosting our output of mines and industry buildings and it advanced boat services means that my boats, freighters, tourist ships and cargo ships are 5% faster. However, the team supports, tourist ports and docks cost me 50% more. I have researched it now. We don't need it for the moment. Um, but later on, we are going to need it then. These two are now active. And for the duration they're active, they're leveling up now to two stars, getting more efficient over the course then of the, uh, of the time that we're using it. 
special. Let's just have a look what El President is doing. Of course, he's just coming back from the beach, enjoying his life as a as a governor. And by the way, also happy to report the first $100,000 have been earned. Very good. So right now, things are running for us economy-wise. I would like to keep this one for a little bit longer before we advance to the next era. Oh, fungal infestation. Normally green crops are a sign of freshness, but when it is our warehouse coconuts turning green, then we may have a mold problem. And 10% to 25% of plantation goods, logs and coconuts stored in warehouses are destroyed each month. So what I'm doing, for example, is I'm purchasing all the uh, blueprints that we have, right? Because they cost me and I'd rather purchase it now where we make some money than for the next era. I would also like to prepare the first heist for a monument. And in this case here, a Stonehenge should be the one. Let's actually push this one all the way up here to the top. Also for the trade, I might open up some more trade licenses. 10,000 costs me each and 15,000 the next one. We have another demand, building another chapel for the revolutionary immigrants, for the revolutionary party that is, of course. Chapel, there it is. Up here we have a few bunk houses. As I can also see, the other chapels are quite overloaded, right, with uh, visitors. So we definitely should have one also somewhere here in this area. So let's go ahead and make this one, yeah, out here really in the... In the wilderness almost, as we are also growing towards it then anyway. Alright, looking on the streets of Tropico, I think we have set the stage for advancing to the next era. We have a bit of cash at hand, we have almost 300 people. The constant pirate attacks are don't bothering us anymore that much. And yeah, well, I think we are ready for this and we continue onwards to world wars in the next episode. Stay tuned.